Hello everyone, and welcome back to Daichin's Daily Dharma, Episode 3. Uh, how to sit with a cup of hot tea on top of your head. Uh, people always ask yoga teachers all the time, Yoga teacher, how do you keep that cup of boiling hot tea on top of your head? Well, I'm going to break it down for you in a few simple steps. Okay, It's one of the oldest yoga teacher secrets that there is. The old boiling cup of tea on the top of head trick. Guaranteed to mystify any of your uh, skeptical students who don't believe in your yoga philosophy. You just put that cup on your head and keep talking and people will, will listen. Um, can be used also, can use a large candle, right? One of those big fat candles you could also set there. Um, really the key is just to be at peace with um, one's alignment, right? One's posture, seated posture. And, you know, the, the nice full water, nice and hot tea, let me see. Should be good and tasty tea that you want to, would rather drink than have sitting on your head. Okay, and this will motivate you to not spill the tea so that then the tea will have fully steeped, right? Have used up all the hot temperature of the boiling water and um, you will have absorbed that prana through the crown chakra. You know, and it's, so it's a good alignment. Um, so here we go. Cup of tea. Mmm, it's good. Okay top of head. Okay, there's a little spot. Ooh, the fingers. And just close your eyes. And tune into the sound of the planet. Yeah, that's very easy to do, you know. Don't worry about it too much, just let it be there. After years and years of practicing headstand, it uh, should be very basic to place an object on the top of the head in mountain pose or in a basic seated position, as long as you want. Balancing that cup of tea on your head it gives you instant uh, Holistic authority. <laughs> I am balancing a cup of tea on my head. Therefore, I must know the secrets to all of reality and to all of your dreams and desires. And I must know all the answers to all your fears. No, it's really just a trick of balancing water on the head. I mean, you know, women in countries where water is scarce, they carry large pots of water on their head. They walk around, they do all kinds of things. And this is just really the smallest scale of that up here. You know? So anyway, that's the daily Dharma of the day. Uh, not all the time will we be doing serious topics of yoga, but um, now we get to drink the tea. Mmm, even sweeter for all that concentration it took to hold it up. Don't forget to hit subscribe at the page and please um, share, like these daily dharmas. Send me uh, either a private message or post in the comments below. What topics would you like Daichin's daily dharma to cover? You know, from yoga classes to meditation to um, massage, body work, you know, Daichin's Daily Dharma has a very broad uh, mission, okay, to bring people together, to spend the time that we have in this life, you know, bringing people together through what we know about each other, about the body, about the mind, about life, and uh, that's Daichin's Daily Dharma. Thank you so much for the tea, and I'll see you tomorrow for Daichin's Daily Dharma, Episode 4.